It's a real tragedy that they would use their kids to commit this crime. For us, that's the most heartbreaking part. Over $30,000 worth of jewelry swiped from Bella Jewelers and Rogers, all taken by tiny hands. The woman kind of kept a lookout while her youngest son went around to steal the jewelry. As she realized that nobody was there and she got more confident, she started directing him to go back multiple times and steal more jewelry. The woman showed her child the exact pieces she wanted him to grab. It was only a matter of minutes. It's really detrimental, especially this time of year. We're a local business, so this is something that it really hurts us. They were waiting for the right opportunity. They walk in, they scope it out to see who's around, and then they go for it. Rogers police say they haven't seen many cases where children are recruited recruited to shoplift. I can't think of any, you know, right off the top of my head. On top of that, police say the parents will be charged with contributing to delinquency of a minor. As for what will happen to these kids if they're caught, police say it's up to the court. The juvenile system tries to figure out, you know, what's going to be in the best interest of the kids. How can we help them make sure this type of stuff didn't happen again? Law enforcement want businesses to take extra precaution this time of year. Store owners need to be aware of and make sure they secure their property. We just hope other local businesses are also on guard and protect themselves from incidents like these. Bella Jewelers employee Stephanie Martinez says they won't let the theft bring down their holiday spirit. We have a lot of pride in our stores and what we do. It is a minor setback, but it's a challenge that we know we'll overcome. She says this is not a representation of the Rogers community. The outpouring of support that we've received is the real Northwest Arkansas.